Hello, it's Red, and um, check that out. I think it's safe to show this on camera now. I'll, I will uh, do my best to schedule the ABBA caving episode before this one. But yeah, yep, not just winter. ABBA everything winter. I won the whole ABBA tournament, which is kind of funny because um, Scott and I were uh, paired against each other for a qualifying round. We were the only two that had to do it, but we had, I guess, too many competitors at first. So I played against Scott in a qualifying round, which I lost because Scott is just amazing at ABBA. And um, I thought that was the end of it for me. But then Park, who organized all of it, ended up scheduling one more round between me and him because it turned out we didn't have enough rounds or something. Like, I think we had an odd number of rounds. And so he's like, oh, okay, well, we can add one more. So I had another chance, and I beat Park. And then I was supposed to play the winner of Scott versus Gerhi. And um, Scott, meanwhile, got a job. It took a lot of his time and was never able to sync up with Gerhi to play their round. So, yesterday, um, Hollywood, who won his bracket, was waiting to play the winner of, let's see, it would be Scott versus Gerhi, then me versus whoever won that round, and then, so let's just assume it would have been Scott. So, me versus Scott again, and then Scott versus Hollywood, because, I mean, it's Scott, he would have won. But, because it had taken them months and they still hadn't played their round, Park disqualified both Scott and Gare, which meant I moved up to play against Hollywood. And Hollywood was live streaming it yesterday. And I just recorded my point of view. And you guys, I won. I won! I was disqualified from even competing, got a second chance, came back to win it all. I'm stunned. So look. Look at this. I don't remember how many of these came from Abba Caving, but I'm going to say at least half. And so I'm well on my way to that goal of mine of building with ore blocks. It's thrilling. Uh, now I just need to start thinking, like, how to incorporate them into my builds. Yep. Oh, and um, I had to repair my armor, and instead of cashing out my remaining diamonds, I was able to purchase armor for emeralds. Emeralds came from paper, and yeah, so it's a good life right now. And in the midst of all this, they're talking about resetting the server, which I'm not too thrilled about, because... I'm at a stage where I can build with diamond ore blocks. That is epic. Ha. Huh. Oh well. Okay, so what I want to do today, I think I want to build maybe some kind of bedroom. Um, we have this area that goes down here and comes out there. Um, we've talked about doing a pool here and maybe lava at the bottom for lighting or glowstone or something. Um, so I could build bedrooms off any of these. So we've got two, four, we have four um, places that I can dig out for bedrooms. I also want to build something here. So maybe a parallel down staircase. I don't know, I just think that that would be good. So I think that's what I'm going to do right now is build a staircase down to, and maybe like a another parallel landing like this one. So how deep do I have to go and how wide is the landing? That's the question. We already know it's going to be, I guess, five wide because this is three and then one to either side. Actually, maybe six. Yeah, or seven. One, two, and three. 3 is 5, and 2 more is 7. Okay. Um, and then as far as height, we have 1, 2, 3, 
four, five. Does that look like six? Well, why don't we just count the stairs down? One, two, three, four stairs down. Okay, got it. And I guess we need to move this. And find a place for all its goodies. Stair or axe. I need my axe. Alright. Ooh, that was lucky. Hmm, I nearly knocked that ladder over. And now we have another good reason for having moved the beacon aside. And it's that I can do this. Okay, so I want... walls here. What did I do there? I guess I just left it. Yeah. What? I have a torch. Let's go in down here. I'm out of slopes. Okay. Did I put more acacia here? I did. No. Whee. I think it's in there we go. That'll do. And I need a stone brick stairs, and they start three out. Oh, that looks like smooth stone. Eh, it doesn't matter. So, one, two, three, right there. And then right there. And then right there. So this, I'm not sure is in the right place. I think it might need to go down. Let's confirm that though. Let's see where the others line up with the stairs. Yeah. 
it actually did go up. And it was the glass that lines up with the stair. Okay. You know, it's kind of hard to recreate something. Um, so much simpler when you're building it, but then to come back and, and mirror is kind of hard because because you want to make it the same, and sometimes you can't quite tell. All right, so. I think this right here and here will also be glass, dark glass. And that means I need stone around it. And here we go. That. That seems right. Stone, stone, glass, brick. So now here's the dilemma. Let me take care of this. Oh, that needs to be a brick. And that needs to be. Okay. Need more glowstone. Fortunately, we have a witch hut. Okay, here's the dilemma. Over here, this is where it goes down, right there. It goes down to the left. So to be parallel, we should go down to the right. However, if we go down to the right, we're bang, right in the middle of that beacon. Do I move the beacon again? I don't know. Or do I just leave this open? And maybe we don't have to parallel the stairs going down. Um, I'm not sure. I think I should at least acknowledge the beacon and make a pathway to it. Whoa, oh, oops. All the gravel. I only got one. And I think I need like four, so that's probably. Oh, huh, look at that. I think I dropped them down here. This is a long, long ladder. Here we go. Oh yeah, we do want this here, so we can change the beacon. What is the beacon right now? It's nothing. We need haste. Let's get some haste in here. Um, it's not selecting. All right, I gotta disconnect. One second. There we go. We got it. Okay. And then. So. 
Where was I? Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> there we go. I'm not sure that putting this on haste was a good idea. My gosh, it's overpowered now. Um. Cobble. It would not do to have zombies. Uh, spawning in my little areas under the storage room. That would just be distracting. I almost didn't make that. What did I do? What is that? It's a furnace. A furnace shouldn't need... Oh, but I bet right next to it, like right there... Oops. I bet I broke one of the pressure plates. Let's see. Yep. This one. So it was from both of these. Still work? Yes. And yes. Perfect. Ugh. 
anvils. Okay, where was I? Down here. So if I were to mirror the other side, I would have steps starting here. And it's just a problem because it goes straight into the beacon. But you know, I think as long as I have this landing the same, that's good enough. And then we've got options to go under here, any other direction. And I kind of actually want to go this way. I like the idea of meeting up both of these. and maybe having a room back here. So one problem that I'm kind of running into now is wanting to be consistent with my pattern and so not knowing where to take it from here. I mean, I can just have another open 4x4 four four space. Is it 4x4, 3x3, 7x7, whatever. But uh, I don't know. I kind of want to use the space. So maybe I should try to pattern it after this up above. It could even be more storage. Um, I just find it very soothing to break blocks. Okay, so we have this space now. Not exactly sure what I'll do with it, and I think this goes like this. And this goes like this. But I have it. And I have probably been recording for an hour or something, so I'm going to have to trim this way, way down. But I'll leave it there. 